Uh, Frotch on the card, as I just say, he pays everything. Uh, but like I said, that last show that they put on Povetkin and that were crap at Wembley. Uh, in Saudi, we've got seven fights. That's 14 guys, of which four are drug cheats. So out of the 14 of them on that show, four are drug cheats. Two of whom are two-time drug cheats. This is a month after Eddie Earns crocodile tears over Patrick Day, who died on Eddie Earns' show. Eddie Earn promised changes then around boxing, didn't he? He promised changes. I mean, if we're going to have people die on a boxing show, what happens if they die and somebody's had a performance enhancing drugs and we don't know about it? What then? Well, what's going to happen then? Only changes I see are Earn saying Saudi is now a regular slot like his regular Monaco slot uh, like his regular Monaco site fee which is the equal of 19 Sky site fees so Eddie Earn gets a site fee for Monaco which is the equal of 19 site fees what, what he gets for off Sky so that's unbelievable isn't it and it only holds 500 people, doesn't it? Eh? It's like boxing is now a rich man's sport. When I say a rich man's sport, I mean... It's... I mean, I mean it. It's at corporate level, like football, isn't it, at the moment, but... But so has the darts and snooker. That's like that, isn't it, I suppose. Darts and snooker's expensive to go watch, isn't it? And football. Darts, snooker, football. Boxing's getting like that now, isn't it? The money is now in the USA. Joshua, last UK fight, September 2018. Tyson Fury, last fight, UK, August 2018. 35 days before Joshua Povetkin. Yet yeah, Joshua will say... It's my homecoming when he fights Dillian White in the UK next year. Because I think he's going to fight Dillian White next year. There'll not be a belt online. They're going to say, it's not about belts, it's the fight. If Joshua don't beat Ruiz, you watch, they're going to be saying it's not about belts. But trust me, it is. All we need is Joshua and Wilder or Joshua and Ruiz to fight Wilder. Even if it's a one fight and the belts get broke up, we've got that guy who's had them belts for one fight, all of them. That's all we need, just one champion. But will Tyson and Joshua come back to UK? Is Cash King. Do they care about the fans, really? Or are they milking their moment? Well, I think Tyson's milking his moment. And you know what? I'm glad anyway, because he would treat like a dog when he beat Vladimir. But... Their best, bin, their best win between them, Tyson Fury and Joshua. Best win, best win between them is an old man, Vladimir. Is this an era where money means more than legacy? Yeah, I think so. Which brings me to the rest of the division. Dillian White, yet again, in a fight that don't involve a man with a heartbeat. Dillian White. Who's he fighting? Who's Dillian White fighting? <laughs> Marius Vac. Who was that other guy he fought when he went abroad? Malcolm Tan. Fuck yeah. Do you know what I mean? Why ain't Dillian White suing Wilder and the WBC? I mean, he's got millions in bank. Marius Vac. Last five opponents are as follows. Jarrell Miller, lost. Spilker, lost. Bacoli, lost. Gorgadilazzi, 6 and 30 and 0. He beat him. Um, Tamasa Shavili, 2 and 5 and 0. And he beat him. There is last five opponents. Eh? 
we have Dillian White, who in my own opinion has done a Callum Smith in that he has earned millions of pounds by avoiding people but yet claiming he's the best ever and that everybody avoids him that's what I think nobody dare say up to Dillian White or dare because he might just give you a slap and might get his brother to uh, wrap you up like a pretzel if it even is his brother Nobody dare say what they are because these people are confrontational. They're bound to put, they'll pull you to one side and see what you said about this here or whatever. This is what you're up against. So nobody dare say a word. If Dillian White is not avoiding John Terry Wilder, why hasn't he served papers on Wilder and the WBC demanding his WBC title shot? Why hasn't Dillian White sued them? Why? Why not? Why is he just taking it on chin? that he can fight Wilder in 2021 because he knows he can get another couple of pay-per-views in next year, doesn't he? He get two more pay-per-views against, you know, your Parker types or Chisora. I mean, from what I've heard, him and Parker are going to fight next year and Dillian might even have a trilogy with Chisora. So, why would Dillian White be bothered about fighting Wilder when he can get pay-per-views? Keep them pay-per-views piled up. Callum Smith's the main WBC noise, but wouldn't go near Anthony Dero, would he? He went mandatory for over two years, wasn't he, Callum Smith? But he won't go near Anthony Dero. And Dillian's like that. He didn't want to be forcing issue with Wilder, does he? Dillian White should be suing WBC. Anthony Joshua made a lot of WBC noise, didn't he? but jumped to IBF once Wilder wanted to fight him thought I'll go IBF and I'll fight Charlie Martin because it's an easier fight than Wilder as a fan I'm now sick and tired of the situation it's now worse than it's ever been it's a cesspit Martin but, uh, Theobald at the New Age pod I listened to him the other night and it's probably the best podcast I've ever heard He's just saying he just don't want to invest in boxing no more with his time and that. And I see where he's coming from. Martin, I feel you. Uh, White should be calling should be calling out Ergovic, not Povetkin and Hunter. I mean, Dillian White's wanting Povetkin Hunter winner. He's wanting a trilogy which is always wanting another fight with Parker. Why? Should be calling out Wilder. And yet another pay-per-view on Sky for no belt. It's, because, it's beyond laughable. Dillian White's had four pay-per-views on Sky and he's not been in a European title fight yet. Who oh, is now running the asylum when we have a full-time school teacher pushing 38-year-old in Eric Molina going in with Ergovic? I keep saying sooner or later someone will get hurt or die and they have as a few weeks ago Patrick Day died and we heard all sorts about how Hearn was going to save the sport but it's not happened has it no tolerance will sort it and yes the will be casualties but on a whole it'd be good for the sport 56 days after Patrick Day's death tomorrow we have a greedy man in the name of Eddie Hearn and an even greedier man in the name of Anthony Joshua making millions of pounds along with the Sky Sports and supporting cast of Adam Smith Mr Bean Johnny Nelson, the company man. I don't rest at Klingons around milking every interview, and it's all designed to get money, your money. That is just eight weeks, yes, eight weeks since Patrick Day's death. It's eight weeks tomorrow since Patrick Day died. Eight weeks tomorrow, and you've got four drug cheats on the biggest show ever. The biggest show since God knows when. It's a massive show, isn't it? They've only got five fights on now, haven't they? (laughs) 
or is it seven? I forget, I think it's five, isn't it? You have to check that out. 56 days ago, four drug cheats, the promoter Eddie Earn, the same man who kicked to Ira Davis out match room because he thought that he said something that upset his pals in Liverpool, Paul Smith and Tony Bellew, meaning Awara said he would do an interview with the Sun newspaper. All hell broke loose, didn't it? Yet Paul Smith and Tony Bellew both boxed on a Sun newspaper sponsored show on a Frank Warren card, but no one said a word. Smith and Bellew knew about Hillsborough. The Scousers, they know about the hatred Scousers have for the Sun, and quite rightly so. Awara Davis wasn't even born when Hillsborough happened, but Awara Davis going to do an interview in the Sun newspaper. What's wrong with that? He's not from Liverpool, is he? It's only banned in Liverpool. So... Look. Barry Hearn had a column, I'm not even sure if he still has, in the Sun newspaper. Frank Warren had a column for years, didn't he? But they're not from Liverpool. So why did Arara get loads of crap? Eddie Hearn could take the moral high ground then, can't he? But when it comes to putting drug cheats on shows eight weeks after somebody died on his show. So why has Eddie Hearn got drug cheats on his show? Why? Is it because he can get away with it? And that's all this is, getting away with it and seeing just how much money they can all bank and share out amongst the mates. White, Ergovic, Pavet, Kim Ruiz, all to win. I am going for just all the lot to win in a straight bet. All so yeah, there is seven fights, and they're all seven fights. Pavetkin Hunter is a 50-50. Pavetkin against Hunter is a 50-50. All others I think are pretty straightforward. If you go on to your box wreck, go on to box wreck on go on to Anthony Joshua box wreck. Click on event on right hand side and you'll see the show come up. If you take Pavetkin and Hunter out of them seven fights, all the others on the left hand side all win. Ruiz wins. I think Tom Little gets beat, but I want him to win. It's, uh, so we're for 50 quid accumulated. I may even take Pavetkin versus Hunter out here. It's that close, it's a 50-50, but you can jazz it up by going Ruiz by stoppage, White and Herkovic by stoppage, Majidoff by stoppage, although I hope Tom Little does it, but some fear for Tom's health. And I'm saying he's the new Dave Allen and he's now had his novelty act. Hope not, as I like Tom, he's cool, he's likeable. I spoke to him in Bulgaria and he took it on the chin, his opponent messing him about in Bulgaria. And to be fair, Eddie Earn kept his word and got him on a few slots on Sky after spoiling his Bulgaria dream. So I tip my hat off to you, Eddie Earn, because Tom Little were devastated. He's got a family and mouths to feed. So on the whole, I've not watched any interviews after the Tebbit Hearn interview, where Tebbit, the voice of reason, had Hearn on the ropes but lost on points after the slippery eel Earn got off with that defend got off with that defending four drug cheats on his card and telling us he loves a pound note i simply refused to see any more bias by ifl tv and behind the gloves or boxing social or sky sports i went to these trouble chub lollies at moment Well, I was, but uh, uh, it's the same old crap, in it. But this time we got sandals, aren't we? Sand dunes, clash on the dune. People tell me, right, that they're hardcore boxing fans, but are they? Ask yourself, how many shows a year you go to? My channel gets a lot of stick, but 
but it is heading in the right direction. It's hard hitting, yeah. It's all right, it is, but we're going in the right direction. I know we are. I know it. The amount of people that get in touch with me and you know, there's a few things happening behind the scenes. I think a lot of it is people just want to sound off, don't they? Worst thing you can say to me is, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Well, do it. Don't talk about it. Do it. Don't chat shit to me. Do it. Yeah. We tell it straight, don't we? We shake it up a bit. If you don't like it, tough, isn't it? I'm not here to make any new mates. I've got enough pals in my life. I'm here to guide you all the crap we're fed in boxing. I'm just here to guide you through it all. Now, uh, if Joshua good for British boxing or just good for Anthony Joshua, well, I told you, haven't I? A good for Anthony Joshua. That's what I am going to leave you with. But rest assured, I can sleep at night knowing I've done my bit and put my neck on line. Now, if you're behind me, hit that subscribe button. All right. And give me the respect I think I deserve and let's spread the word that Porky's Corner is not just an hardcore boxing channel. It's a movement. The Porky movement. All right. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. That's about it, really. Just take my coat off. Game of that. Some nice Mercedes here, isn't there? I wish I had a few quid. I could come out, come and get one. through today with this rain so that's a nice one now Bum, 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 bum. You can go on forever though, can't you, with cars? So... So... But... Killed a bit of time. Woo! Fish tail. I should really spin straight down there, but... In fact, I think I can turn around here. I'll turn around next to TJI Friday. So all in all, I hope it's a good show tomorrow. Will I be watching it? Yeah, I'll probably go... I might go to somebody's house who's paid for it. <laughs> good. Might go down to my cousins. So you're watching boxing. So we ain't got Sky, we only got BT. Yeah, it should be a good show. I'd like to see Tom Little on more money though because when they're earning that kind of money, when you're earning that kind of money, Joshua. You'd think that they'd look after people on show, wouldn't you? I mean, Tom Little's just in a camp, hasn't he? Tom Little's just in a camp with Joshua. So why why can't why can't they pay him? I just don't think it's fair. I just don't think it's fair at all, honestly. 
It's like I'm alright, Jack, in it. I'm gonna get paid big money, but you're not. Like I said, I just don't agree with it. I don't agree with it at all. Shout out to all them people who email me. Uh, there's a lot of people email me and you give me your numbers and all that. It's nice and that, but I don't really trust anybody who emails me. No offence. Because there's a lot of double agents out there. People email me, they give me the phone number. They check it on WhatsApp. They don't even have a photograph on the WhatsApp profile. You know, they want me to phone them. This shit ain't right. But it spoils it for the people that are genuine. But I do hope that there are genuine boxing fans out there who support the channel, keep supporting the channel and keep supporting boxing mainly because without you fans, it'd be in doldrums, wouldn't it? Because where is it going at the moment, boxing? Where? Where is it going? Well, it's just gone to New York and it's just gone to Saudi. It's gone to New York and Saudi and that's it. That's it. So... So where, where is it going? It's not going anywhere, is it? We keep told that we're, we're told boxing's booming, but if I say it in, oh you're a hater, oh you're negative. Why? Why Anthony Joshua? He's earning 66 million. I keep reverting back to it because I can't get my head around it. 66 million quid. 66 million. Well, that's where trains here. That's where trains here. EIS Sheffield, 66 million. Not bad, eh? Got all them free facilities to train there. Not bad, is it? You can get it. Eh? Not bad at all. No, not bad at all. Well, what can you do? All we can do is just do our best, can't we? I put my energies into looking for a good opponent. We work with Mick Whale to find a good opponent for Josh. And, uh Get Josh Josh Whale on right path because he's on a real a right roll at the moment in his Josh. Is there anybody on as good a roll as what Josh is on at the moment? I don't think so. Do you? Have you seen anybody on a run as good as Josh? Hey. It's up here, isn't it? Yeah. I always get lost in Sheffield. Put a sat nav on here because I'm going to get lost. I had my little boy Reggie in car, he said, Daddy, put Navi on. Put Navi on. Jezzle Street. 
The route is being calculated. Prepare to turn right. Please turn right in 200 yards onto so, Wilford Road. I don't know if Tom Little's going to win. Oh, I want him to win. He's fighting a guy 1-0. No, oh. turn right. But the guy's uh, beat Joshua, hasn't he? Please follow the road for 800 yards. The guy's beat Joshua in amateurs, hasn't he? So... He's a top amateur and he's gone pro. Prepare to turn right. So... He's in an hard fight, isn't he? He's in an hard fight. So, but like I said, Tom Little's got to be in it to win it, hasn't he? And if he gets a win tomorrow, Tom Little is going to put Catamox pigeons, isn't he? So. Please turn right in 200 yards onto so. Downall Road. And then turn so right. It's one of them things, isn't it? Well, Dillian White against Marius Vark. If Dillian White can't beat Marius Vark, he shouldn't be boxing at that level, should he? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. Alright, boom. Well.